We've spoken to a lot of experts here today. Yeah, WFMV's Tosin Fakile and Rebecca Cardenas are getting both sides of the Roe v. Wade debate. Let's start with you, Tosin. Lawmakers and doctors who are pro-abortion rights speak out today. That's right, Marius. They spoke out this morning. Democratic lawmakers stressed the point that the Supreme Court's decision will now allow states to use criminal laws to force women to keep pregnancies from dangerous situations. As for Planned Parenthood of Middle Tennessee, they say this is their worst fear that has become reality, but they promise that their doors will remain open. Whether it's lawmakers, our nightmare has come true. Our highest court has taken away the ability of women to control their own bodies and lives and turned that power over to politicians. It's wrong and we're gonna have to fight against it. Or Planned Parenthood. And we are also gonna continue to fight like hell to get this right back in Tennessee. Those who are pro-abortion right advocates are upset about the Supreme Court ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade. I think that this is the starting point of seeing where taking away rights can lead to. Where does it stop? Is it gay rights? Is it civil rights? Is it ultimately voting rights? Where do we, where do we go from here? And it's tough when, when you don't know what to tell your patients. When they say, where can I go to get help? Where can I get an abortion? Now I'm going to have to say, you know, you can drive to Illinois or North Carolina. Planned Parenthood of Middle Tennessee says they're booked with abortion appointments till July 1st. And for women who need abortions moving forward. I mean, we have patient navigators who are helping patients with the logistics of getting outside of Tennessee for an abortion and with the financial and logistical barriers that they face. The ruling means Tennessee's trigger law goes into effect, which doctors say will lead to more health complications and death. Now I am forced to choose between my oath to protect and preserve and promote life or to follow an unconscionable law. Now, the CEO of Planned Parenthood of Middle Tennessee tells me they're worried about security and they have stepped up security at each of their locations. I know when we were here earlier this morning, we did see two Metro Police officers inside this Planned Parenthood behind me. They say they are conducting abortion appointments today in Memphis. As for this location in Nashville, they say it was pre-planned to be closed today. But Marius and Tracy, they say they plan to have this location reopened on Monday. Back to you. All right, Tosin, thank you. And again, two sides to this.